when you are who you are, your intelligence, your competency, what you know, how you know what you know, it's all going to be questioned by those around you. It's going to be questioned. People don't really fully understand what you know. They don't think that it is concrete. The knowledge you carry is concrete or it's factual. You'll have a lot of people questioning you or telling you otherwise. When you're, when you're laying out the facts, you're going to have people protesting against what you know and how you know what you know. How did you come into this information? Why is it that you know certain details that perhaps they didn't know or maybe they thought they knew that, but they were wrong about the details you know, right? Your intelligence and competency is going to be questioned throughout your lifetime because people want, some people are going to make you feel like you don't know what you're talking about, even though you've maybe studied aggressively for whatever the subject matter is, you're well-versed in you know, whatever the topic could be about, you know your stuff. You could be studious. You know exactly what you're talking about. And people are going to make it seem like, you know, you don't know anything or your level of knowing is very minimum, that you don't really know that much as you're letting on. So the thing about it too is like when your intelligence is being questioned, it's like people don't believe you. People are not going to believe what you say. People are not going to take your words as truth. They're not going to want to really hear you out. There have been times where I've tried to explain something to somebody that I was pretty confident in talking about, and they were really quick to shut it down and be like, no, that's not how it is. No, that's, but they weren't able to back it up. You know, like I'm willing to hear what you got to say, healthy debates, if you want to say that. But if you're just going to say, no, that's not true, or no, that can't be real, or no, that's not what I heard and not be able to elaborate on that, then what's going on here? So you're going to have people who are just quick to say, nah, that's not true. No, you're wrong. No, you don't know anything. But not able to really back that up and explain what they know, right? So you're going to be up against people who do that. Your competency and your level of intelligence is going to be questioned by people who think that perhaps they're smarter than you. And of course, there could be people who very well know more than you at this time, totally. But there is an arrogance there where they think that there's no way you, for example, they may think there's no way you're right or your intelligence is not that high because maybe they have five degrees, you have one or you have none. You know, so people associate intelligence with certificates and papers and accolades and things of that nature, which are all great to have. They're fantastic achievements, but that doesn't mean that you are more intelligent than the next person. It simply means you fulfill the requirements <laughs> for that program that rewarded you that certificate. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are more intelligent or more knowing than the person who doesn't have what you have, doesn't have that certificate. So you may come across scholars, people who are academically very successful, who will question your competency because they feel like, well, what, what do you have to show here? You know, what you're saying cannot be true because where's your degrees? Where's your diplomas? Where's your bachelor's? Where your, where's your master's? You know, you can't be all that smart as you're saying because you don't have the accolades that I have. I know what I'm talking about. I went to college. I went to university. And then I went to, you know what I mean, to this country to expand, to, to do, do a specialized program. But there's certain people who will really doubt your intelligence because they feel like you don't have nothing to show to back up your intelligence. So... You're going to have a lot of people really wondering, are you really as smart as you say you are? Do you where, where are you getting your knowledge from? Once again, if they don't see like the accolades, they're going to be wondering, where are you getting your knowledge from? You know, who taught you that? You could just be somebody who reads a lot. And that's that's somebody like me. Like, <laughs> I love to read. I love and I've always loved reading ever since I was a child and nothing has changed. You know, it's only, you know, um, expanded right? Love to read. And so we gain a lot of knowledge and intelligence from reading various, you know, pieces of literature and, and texts, right? We learn by reading, we learn by research. 
You could be somebody who does a lot of research, a lot of online research, reading encyclopedias and journals and things of that nature, going to the library. That was a big, 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 big thing for me growing up, going to the libraries, reading all types of books. All right. So people can gain intelligence in different ways just by studying, by observing, by learning, by researching. Right. All of these things can make you a very intelligent person and makes your mind deeper it makes you understand and appreciate the world around you and different concepts, different ideas, right? So people may not understand that about you, that no, you do read a lot. You do take the time to do your research. You do take your time to put pieces of information together and then you remember it. You know, it's a repetitive thing. Then you expand on that thought and then it just snowballs from there. So you're going to have a lot of people in your life who question your competency, question your intelligence. They know that you're smart, but they want to like dumb it down to where, you know, you don't feel like you're better than anybody else or everybody else, you know. And when people see that you know a lot, they're going to want to shut you down. They're not going to want to hear you talk too much about what you know. You're going to have people having some sort of attitude when you start talking about certain subject matters that maybe they think that they know better than you. Or maybe they thought you didn't know about this. So they're going to get maybe a little bit annoyed about the fact that you're going into uh, subject matters that they just didn't think maybe that you were that deep. I know I've had that experience where I'm explaining a concept to somebody and they're kind of like put back. Like that's, it reminds me of that Samuel L. Jackson meme when he's like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, because people are really like surprised that you know what you know, because maybe you don't look like you would know this stuff. And people, once again, superficiality kind of destroys these things, right? Where people just don't believe that you could be intelligent or you could be into certain things because of how you appear, right? So people are sometimes going to be put uh, aback by your level of knowing, you going into subject matters, you knowing your stuff, you knowing the ins and outs of it, you being able to explain it, being able to give real life examples, analogies, you know what I mean? You may read case studies, you may read encyclopedias, journals, once again, that it has only strengthened your level of knowing to the point where you can go and teach now. You know what I mean? We're all teachers in a certain type of way. You don't have to have a degree, you know, to be a teacher, right? You don't have to have a degree. You don't have to have a diploma to be a leader, to be somebody who has a high level of intelligence. You'd be surprised, you know, how many people out here are so, so, so smart but may not have a lot to their name by way of materials. You know, people may not be so accomplished in the eyes of society, but up here, oh boy, they'd knock everybody out of the water or everybody, you know, in their community, they would shock, they would stun people, right? So your level of intelligence will be questioned. It, and it probably is being questioned right now at this time by people around you who just don't want to believe or don't think it's true that you could possibly be as smart as you're acting, right? But you're, it's not an act. You know, they may think you're acting, but you know it's real. You know you know your stuff, you know? So whenever your intelligence is being questioned or interrogated about, just keep doing what you do, which is, you know, share the knowledge that you know. Share, share what you know and expand on your mind. We could, we're students first, always. You know, we're always students. Then we could be teachers. We flip-flop roles. We could do both, right? So... That's the thing is why you're so intelligent is because you were comfortable and okay and willing to be a student, willing to get that information, willing to learn about it to the point where now, once again, you could spread that knowledge. You could spread that knowing. You could show your intelligence. You can go higher. You can have all the opportunities you want in the world simply because of your level of intelligence. So even though people may not believe it, you believe it. And that's what matters most. All right, everybody. So thank you so much for joining me on the Mindset Elevator. Thank you guys so much once again for helping the channel grow. I'm thankful for each and every single one of you. If I knew all of you guys' names, I would list it out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which would be a really long video. But um, I just want to say thank you for all the support, all the well wishes, you know, all the positive vibes. You know, I'm, I'm really learning from all of you. I share a lot of experiences with a lot of you. So it's a very, very wholesome um, feeling here on the uh, Mindset Elevator and on YouTube. So once again, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying life, living life to the fullest. Let me know as well in the comments if people have questioned your competency and intelligence. And what did they do? What did they say? How did you react? How did the situation go? Let me know. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful day. Bye.